CataractCoach.com, Lysis of Sneakye with a gonioscopic view. And, you know, reopening of that block glaucoma angle stent. Now, you can see, starting off here, things look a little unusual here, right? You got an eye wall in the bag. You got an iris that looks kind of billowy. Maybe there's some weird anatomy here. A couple of pairs of these is going in. And remember, our guest surgeon here is from yesterday's Cataract Coach podcast with Dr. Deborah Richvet. Now, here's a case where the patient has a lot of peripheral sneakye. So now you can see with the gonioscopic view there, that iris is kind of glued up into the angle. So grabbing here the iris with some forceps and gently, very gently, pulling on the iris to break those adhesions or those sneakye. Now, you have to be super careful because guess what? If you pull really hard, you'll detach the entire iris. It is so easy to do that. You don't want to do that, I promise. Now, look at that. As the iris is grabbed, you can see you're able to break those purple sneakye and open up the angle here. So again, now going around 360, grabbing the iris very gently and pulling, pulling, pulling. There you go. Now, I often do this intraoperatively as well. You don't necessarily need to use the gonio prism. You can actually just look at the eye directly and use your capsule rexus forceps or other micro forceps to grab the iris and pull it centrally very gently in order to break those peripheral anterior sneakye. So, again, very good job here. And the beauty of that gonioscopic view is that you can actually see it in action. Now, remember, to maximize that gonioscopic view, what do you have to do? You want to tilt the patient's head away from you. So you're sitting temporally, and you tilt the patient's head away from you. And at the same time, you move your microscope, angle it towards you. And the combination of those two with the gonio prism will allow you to see the angle very cleanly here. Now, look at this. Switching hands. This is why I tell you, if you're a good anterior segment surgeon, you will learn to use both hands just about the same level of dexterity. And that means when you're eating dinner, use your non-dominant hand. When you're brushing your teeth or you're shaving or whatever else you're doing, non-dominant hand to build up that dexterity. So here at the end of the case, it looks pretty dang good. You've done that gonio prism analysis and view of the angles. And now it looks like, what's this, some maybe subconjunctival, maybe there's a trap there. What do you think's going on here? Now, Dr. Rip said, sent us the video, but didn't give too much of a description. So maybe there's a trabeculectomy up in that area right here. And maybe some lysis of some fibrotic tissue and maybe get that trab flowing better again. Didn't quite notice that on the gonioscopic view, but maybe I should replay the video and look again. But anyway, we had a great discussion, an amazing discussion on our Cataract Coach podcast. Now, if you're a young ophthalmologist and you're not listening to the Cataract Coach podcast, why? Do you want a life of like misery? I mean, the, the entire purpose of the Cataract Coach podcast, in a new episode, by the way, every single week, is to make you a more successful ophthalmologist. That's the entire purpose of the podcast. As you know, I will give away all the secrets to success so you can be an incredibly successful ophthalmologist. And I'll give it to you for totally free. So remember, please, check out the Cat Coach podcast. It really is that good. It's everywhere where you find podcasts. And remember, also check out our Retina Rounds podcast every single week, a new Retina podcast too.